Picnic table talk, day number 11 here in the backyard underneath the big trees. My guest say Eddie F, good friend of mine, great handicapper. Um, a little bit of moisture possibly this afternoon. Did you, uh, did you take a look at that weather report? About three o'clock. Seems like between three and four, we're gonna get some 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 moisture. Uh, could continue throughout the day. You know, you gotta wait and see, but I think you should plan on it. Something gonna happen. So we got fans trickling in here. Should be a good day. We have our highlight rates of the day. The Birdstone, two hundred thousand dollars stakes race, going one and three fourths of a mile. Big marathon race on this dirt course, which we expect will have a little bit of moisture in it by then. Um, smaller fields here, only five horses. Did you get a chance to take a look at the race? Yeah, I did. It's a. Uh, I think it's interesting. You know, um, Lone Rock is is last year's winner. Certainly going to take a lot of money off of that. It's an old hard knocking horse there, seven years old now, um, sort of running the same set of races he did last year. A couple at Oaklawn, a couple at Church, one at Churchill, Belmont, and here he is again for this race. Um, you know, good looking horse, obviously got to respect him. Uh, I'm going to play against and, and I'm going to take uh, the four of Portos. A um, little bit younger horse, you know, not that, that necessarily means anything uh, you know, in terms of making it any easier on them. But uh, if you look at the last two races, last three races, uh, you excuse that sloppy race. Um, I like both of those. I think the horse is on an improving trend. Um, I obviously like Pratt up there. He's been doing a great job. And I think this is one of those kind of races where you need the jockey to save something. Um, Flavian's been able to really get his horses to relax. Ask him at the right time. Um, he stays with it. It's, it's just incredibly soft hands. Uh, the guy can give you the right ride when you need it. Um, if it gets real wet, I think you're going to probably have to reevaluate this one a little bit. That one might be pretty tough. Go Sapper, Big Wet Tommy. Um, but I'm. Uh, I, I think I'm, we're going to have a price there with Portos, and I'm going to. That's my play of the day there. Talking about this race, we spoke to Diodora on Saratoga Morning Report this morning. Talked about Lone Rock. Lone Rock's on a little bit of a layoff here. Um, we got 47 days coming into this race, a little longer than normal, about two weeks longer. Not too much to worry about. Um, I'm actually going to stick with Lone Rock here. I'm not going to make the change. I think this horse is one of those horses that just continuously does what it does well. And one and three fourths of a mile is the distance the horse wants. One here last time out in the Birdstone. Um, that one and a half in the Brooklyn really wasn't long enough. Um, Need a little more ground there. Finished a nice third. Um, Fearless is one interesting one here. Did you take a look at that? You know, the horse is getting the rail. Doesn't really make much difference in this type of race. But if we do get some moisture in the track, Fearless does have those wet tommies coming out of that ghost, pa ghost zapper. It could be an opportunity. Did you take a look at the Fearless for that wet track? I, I think you're spot on. Like, like I said, if it does get really wet, uh, I, I think you'd be foolish to ignore that horse for sure. It, it's there's no reason not to use him if it gets really wet, really. Day number 11, picnic table talk here in the backyard. I'm Andrew Cohen for Horse Racing Nation. We'll be back with it every single day with a different highlight stakes race of the day. You can also see us each morning on Saratoga Morning Report. Like and subscribe on YouTube. That's where you get each show every single day. Good luck with your bets.